What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 84 of Autodesk Fusion. Today, specifically, we're working on is some of those tools that are found in this solid ribbon right here that I don't typically like to use too often just because of um, the inherency of trying to make shortcuts. However, once we've learned kind of this environment, we can use these to our advantage to help speed up our time because we know how to think about them and rather using them as a crutch. So what I did quickly is I was able to make two uh, overall components, this cylinder and this square, able to make them flush with one another and throw a hole through both of them, but do it in a little bit of a different sequence than we usually do just to show off these parts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on create and I'm gonna click on cylinder. And so what we're able to do is we're able to make a cylinder in any direction we want to rather quickly. Now, other than uh, where your starting point is at, and that's even editable, when you throw that cylinder in there rather quickly, every part of it is editable from the get-go. And so we're gonna go ahead and just make that a new component. Let's make our depth 40 and our radius, our diameter 45. Uh, well, you know what, let's make that 42, just for the sake of consistency. And now let's go ahead and let's create a box as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a box somewhere beneath, we're gonna do a 40 by 40 by 40 box as well. And we're gonna also make this a new component. So very quickly, I was able to make two distinct 3D shapes, but not have to do a single sketch. It was a very quick way to do that. So what else can we do with this? So say for example, that I need the curvature of this shape to match this box right here. And so what you can do is, uh, is under modify, we can replace face. So anything that is has a face to it can be replaced to another geometry. And so the source face, I wanna change this face right here. And I want to target it to this shape right here. And it will do is it'll just take that face all the way up until it hits an object. And then it's gonna call it done. So if it hits an object too small, you run into a little bit of a problem. Uh, you have to do this, this tangent and target faces but as long as the face is completely inter intersectable by another geometry, it'll go ahead and just make that as well. Now, let's do one step back though. Let's revert that position. Let's change our square right here and let's go ahead and throw another cylinder inside of it. And let's just make that a hole. So not only can you make very quick shapes, but you can make very quick negative shapes. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my better, a better job on creating that cylinder. There we go. Okay, so say for example, I've got a very specific shape in a very specific spot. We need this hole to go through this cylinder right here. So we're gonna modify again, offset face. This face is going to continue. Oh, no, I'm sorry, no, see, replace face. We're gonna hit this face, target face, this face, click OK. Now, the thing we run into is that uh, our cylinder does not have that hole inside of it. And how do we take this hole and just go ahead and shoot it all the way through, kind of like a hole punch on that component? And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a different one. We're gonna do a, a split body. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a body that was already made and augment it or change it in a way downstream. And so what I'm gonna do is click on body to split. We wanna split this body right here. And what are we gonna use kind of as our cookie cutter cutout shape right here? And that's that cylinder right there. And so what it's going to do is it's going to run all the way through until this hole is cut out. So now what it's done is we've taken a referenced geometry or feature in a different component 
and use that to change a different component. And so what I can do down here now is my cylinder. If I hop down on these bodies right here, I notice it now has two bodies rather than one. Well, what if we want to make it go away? We can just remove it. And now I have a clear hole going through both of those uh, components right there. This might be helpful when you're looking at clearance holes and you're trying to do a setup where you don't necessarily want to change the geometry and go back and try to find it in the timeline. You just want to throw a clearance hole through something or um, a very particular shape. So for example, if this was uh, something that wasn't necessarily easy to replicate, like for example, a polygon or something like that, this allows you to quickly just take a feature and replicate it and push it over to another one. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, it was very quick, very short, uh, but we're gonna start getting into these other tools we haven't quite looked at, like offset, replace face, and split face and silhouette split. And then also dealing with some of these 3D shapes over here we have not quite dealt with, but how could they be helpful? Okay, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, throw them down in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. But until then, I will catch you on the next video. See you guys.